We're trick or treating. With the kiddo. They're gonna get us all kinds of candy. <laughs> Bro, what are you Harmony. Doing? Show them your big bucket, girl. First house. Evan's skateboarding. There's Steven. That's Candace's husband. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel excuse my hair i know it looks a little bit crazy it is so big i actually crimped it the day before halloween because me and my sister and my cousins went out for a halloween party and now it's like two days later so the crimps are like no longer there my hair just looks so bushy later on today i'm definitely gonna have to wash my hair and do something with it but for now we're just rolling with it so today is only November 1st, and I don't really know how early it's too early to decorate for Christmas, if that makes sense. I know I already have some family members whose home is completely decked out with the Christmas stuff, and I'm really thinking about maybe putting my tree up a little bit earlier this year, but I feel like as an influencer, and since I do have so many of you guys watching me, that it's my job to put the tree up a little bit earlier than most people. So that way you guys can get a lot of motivation and inspiration from me. So yeah, the plan is to head to Walmart, just look around, show you guys exactly what they have out this year. Last year, I went with the red buffalo plaid. This year, I still want red on my tree, but I don't think I want the red buffalo, maybe the white and black, I don't know. But my Christmas tree is already pre-lit with white lights and it's got the fake snow and everything. I'm feeling like I want to do a lot of white on the tree and then maybe some pops of red, but I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head up to Walmart and then I'll check back in with you guys when I get there. We're here guys. Now let's get inside and find the Christmas owl. I'm also wanting to do something a little bit different and maybe put some bigger ornaments on the tree this year. And I absolutely love these. They look like oversized snowballs, so I'm just gonna grab a few of them. And then they have all of this stuff out. I don't think I'm going to be shopping for all of the knickknacks just yet. I'm mainly just going to focus on the tree. And since I got Harmony a tree for her room, I feel like I need to pick her up a few ornaments. Look at this little sparkled glazed donut. And then the candy canes. I'm definitely going to get these. And then I'm not really sure what bow to go with. I love this bow with the trucks on it. But I'm trying to do more of a silver white theme going on with just little pops of red. So I ended up just getting the silver bow and then some silver ornaments and ribbon. And of course I cannot forget the hooks. I always forget these every single year. 
And so now I've got my basket pretty filled up. Now we're just going to go check out and I'll show you guys what I got when I'm home. Okay guys, I just got home. I went to Walmart, but I also stopped at Rose's. Whenever I get inside, I can show you guys everything that I got. Went to Roses and I got Harmony this tree right here. I'm hoping it's not too big for her room, but it's a neon pink tree and I think she'll absolutely love it. But yeah, I'm about to take all of this stuff inside and then I'll show you guys what I got. Okay guys, I just got everything in and I unbagged everything and just laid it out here on my bar. Oh, so you guys can already see that I'm going with the red, the white, and the silver theme. Got these two packs of 26 shatterproof ornaments. I got the red, white, and silver, and then I just got the all silver. And then I got these oversized snow ball ornaments. And it looks like it's just got snow on it. And little silver sparkles in there as well. I got four of these. I also have like five or six oversized red shiny ornaments. I'm going to use as well from last year. These two holiday throws to hang on my blanket rack. And again, they're just red and white as well. So that they go with the tree. I got some white snowflakes. I think these are going to go on the living room tree. And then I got these for Harmony's tree that's going to be in her room. And then for a tree topper, instead of a star, I'm going to go with this transparent silver snowflake bow. And then behind this, I'm going to add some candy cane ribbon and just make it a bigger bow than what it already is. I think that would be really cute. And then, of course, I got the hooks. I got the silver hooks for Harmony's tree since her tree is pink. And then I got the green so that it blends in with my green tree. And then I picked up these big oversized candy canes. I was thinking maybe I can put these on each side of my fireplace. I thought that would be really cute, but I'm not sure yet. If they don't look right, I'll probably just put them outside whenever it gets closer to Christmas on each side of my door. But they had these at Walmart for $3 each. They're a really good size. And they had them in just about every color. And then to match the bow, I got the same type of ribbon. I'm not sure if I want to tuck it into the tree or if I just want to wrap it around. So we will see about that. And then my tree is already pre-lit. So I picked up these two boxes of the clear lights with the white wire on them. One of these boxes is going to be for Harmony's tree and then I got the other box because I plan on hanging these in my kitchen window. I'm thinking about letting them drape down. I'm not sure how it'll look. If it doesn't look right then I'm going to just put these on Harmony's tree as well. And then I also got these to hang in my kitchen window as well. So you guys know that I have the sheer white curtains hanging up in my kitchen so i thought these snowflakes would look really good across the window underneath the curtains because it would shine through so hopefully this works out and i just picked up a few little extras i picked this red and white candy cane ornament with the frosting and sprinkles on it for my living room tree and then the pink one for harmony's tree and then I also picked her up some icing sprinkled donuts to go on her tree as well. I also have a few more ornaments stored away that she put on her tree last year. I'm not sure how they're going to look just yet because they are smaller ornaments because she had a smaller tree. So we may have to get her some more. And then I got this can of fake snow. So my tree is already pre-lit and it also has the white snow all over it. So I actually bought the tree last year and I ended up having the fake snow all over my living room floors. And since they are dark, you could really see them. And it just seemed like a lot of the snow come off the tree. So I'm thinking of going in with this and hopefully it makes the tree look a little bit more whiter. But yeah, guys, this is everything that I got at Walmart. I do have Christmas decor stored away from last year. I never get rid of any of that stuff because I never know what I want to reuse. Okay, guys, so I just now went out in my storage shed and I found my Christmas tree. It is in the box and it's just like all taped up. Let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to have to cut all of this tape 
so that I can get the tree out and then I'll set the tree up but I'm not gonna decorate it until my husband gets off of work and until my daughter gets off of school but I'm just gonna go ahead and get the headache part out of the way and that's actually setting the tree up and fluffing all the branches so I think I'm gonna go change into something a little bit more comfortable and then we'll get started really take this shut last year like I'm really struggling to get it open <laughs> So now I'm just racing against time. I at least want to try to get the tree set up and start fluffing it out before I have to leave and go get my daughter from school. That way whenever we get home we can go ahead and decorate it. And I don't know about you guys but this is my least favorite part. I feel like no matter how much fluffing I do to this tree I can always point out little bald spots that I need to be more filled in or it needs to be more fluffed and it just drives me absolutely insane because after doing this for so long I kind of go blind to it so maybe it is a good thing that I've got to fluff it all out and then leave the house so whenever I come back in I can exactly eyeball what needs more work and what doesn't so yeah, I'm just going to try to fluff this out as quick as possible and then I'll go get my daughter and we'll pick up where we left off at. Okay, so now I'm just going in with a can of fake snow. I'm pretty sure this is for your windows, but I like to spray it all over my tree. My tree already has the fake snow all over it because I bought it this way, but the snow doesn't really seem to stick like it's supposed to. Once you get the tree out and mess with it, you'll see that it falls all over the ground. So the tree wasn't as white as I'd liked it to be. So that's an easy fix. The snow spray really does stick to the branches and it looks so real. So I always buy that snow every year and it's just a lifesaver. And you can get it at Walmart or any local store and it's under $5. Okay, so I went ahead and went and got my daughter from school and she was just eating a little snack while I started messing with the tree and putting the bigger ornaments on. So I put the big white ornaments on first and then I went in with my medium sized red ornaments and I just placed those everywhere that I wanted them to be on the tree. And then me and my daughter both are going in with the smaller ornaments and we'll just cover the tree with them. So every year I say that I'm going to do a winter wonderland theme on the tree and just use whites and silvers. But I cannot help it, I always have to put a pop of red on the tree because that just really makes it feel like Christmas. And every year my husband usually likes to help decorate the tree with us, but he was still on his way home from work and he was like stuck in traffic. And my daughter was just so excited to get started. So he told us to just go ahead. And he had a friend with him anyways. So it's not like he could just get home and start decorating the tree because he was going to have company. So me and my daughter just went in and got it done. I know that a lot of people in the comments are probably thinking this girl is crazy it's way too early to be decorating for Christmas 
But we usually never have Thanksgiving at our house. We go to our family member's house. That's just what we've done for years. So it's not like I have to decorate for Thanksgiving. And I absolutely love having my tree up. It just makes the room feel so much more cozier. And it just brings us so much joy. And plus, I have a younger daughter who was like ready to put it up a week before Halloween was even here. So, so if you're one of those people who want to put your tree up also, but you think it's a little bit earlier, I just say go for it. Because the sooner you put it up, the longer you can enjoy it. And as you guys can see, my daughter's done lost interest in hanging the ornaments. Her friends came to the door and they wanted to play. So that's what she's doing. And as you guys can notice, I'm hanging more red ornaments. So I was only going to hang the medium size red balls. And then that was all. The rest was going to be white and silver. But I just felt like it needed a little bit more red in it for like warmth and just like that pop. So now I'm going in with the ribbon that I thought I was going to use for the tree topper. And I actually ended up making my own tree topper instead. You guys will see that later on in the video. And now I've just got the snowflake ribbon that I'm tucking into the tree. And then I'm also going to switch it up and put a little bit of red ribbon in the tree as well. And this looks like solid red ribbon, but on the edges, it's got candy cane stripes on it. And I actually put all of this red ribbon on the tree and just kept repeating the pattern from silver to red. And then I didn't even end up keeping it this way. I kept the silver transparent ribbon, but I ended up taking the red ribbon off and then I used that red ribbon to make my own bow to put as the tree topper. And as you guys can see from the reflection in the TV, my husband just now got home with his company. So that's who I'm talking to. So now that I'm done with the ribbon on the tree, I thought that I'd put these two candy canes on each side of my fireplace. And I just thought that that'd be really cute. Usually I hang the garland that's lit up around the fireplace on the top, but it always gets in the way of the eye of the TV. So it makes it impossible to use the remote. So I just thought I'd do something simple like that. And then I also, put my red ladder up with my little wooden Santa and elves. And then as you guys can see, I took the red ribbon off of the tree because I felt like it was just too much. So this is what everything looks like so far. And then this is what the bow looks like at the top that I made. I just feel like it really makes the tree pop and it adds a little bit more red. So now I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think that I should add more to the tree? More of what color or should I just keep it as it is? And then here's just another shot of the tree closer up. And I did put this beaded garland all the way around it. I had a subscriber, her name is Deb send this to me in the mail and I absolutely love it because it's got the little spools on it and they've got the white and black buffalo plaid on there and it's just going to match the same pattern in my kitchen so well so I wanted to send a shout out to Deb for getting these and sending it to me I love them so much 
And for anyone wondering about the snowflakes that are on my walls and ceiling, that is a little projector that I got from Walmart. It's supposed to hang outside, I think, or in a doorway. And they have them with different patterns on them. But I just thought it'd be really cute to put inside. I'll definitely show you guys that in another video. And so now it is the next day. I could not finish off the video without getting a skirt and putting it under the tree just so I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is as soon as I dropped my daughter off to school, I went ahead and headed up to my nearest Ross. And we're gonna go inside and see what type of tree skirts that they have. So yesterday, whenever I was actually ornament shopping, I could not find any tree skirts that stood out to me. And I'm so happy I didn't just settle because look at these tree skirts, guys. They are so cute. Okay guys, so I'm back home as you can tell and I just wanted to finish out this video showing you guys the complete look, what the tree looks like fully decorated and what it looks like with the tree skirt. So I had a hard choice deciding on what tree skirt I was going to go with, but I decided on this really thick fluffy white tree skirt. It is just absolutely adorable. And it really does make the tree stand out and it's got the little snowflake pattern on it so I absolutely love that and I just feel like it makes the white ornaments pop a little bit more on the tree so what do you guys think and also right before I put it down I quickly swiffered up my floors because I couldn't put it down on dirty floors and I can just see the lights bouncing off of the floors. And I absolutely love that. It just makes me feel like the house is so much more cleaner. And also, I found this really cute pack of ornaments at Ross as well. And it come in a pack of four. It's got this really cute striped ribbon on it. And it's just filled with these little pom-pom balls that match all the colors on my tree. So you guys know that I had to bring them home with me. So that's going to be all for today's video, guys. Definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do plan on giving you guys a lot more Christmas decoration videos. So before this video ends, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me some love down in the comment section. Also, let me know what colors you guys are going to be doing your Christmas tree in, and I'll see you guys in the next one.